and welcome to my YouTube channel that will help you to learn more about science. And today, for our first topic, is all about substances and mixtures. So here are the objectives of today's lesson. The first one is to distinguish from mixtures to substances based on a set of properties. Second, you're going to describe the difference between substances and mixtures. And the third one, you're going to cite an example of substances and mixtures used in daily life. I know you are excited to learn more, but now let's play a game. You're going to identify a set of examples if it is a mixture or a substance. The first picture. Is that a mixture or a substance? That's correct. It is a mixture. Next picture. Salt. Is that a mixture or a substance? That's correct. It is a substance. Next picture. We have this cube ice. Is this a mixture or a substance? Great, that is a substance. And last picture, we have coffee. Is this a mixture or a substance? It is a mixture. Very good. Now, let's describe what mixture is. Mixtures contains two or more components. It can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. It can be in a form of solids, liquids, and, and or gases in any combination. Since many things around us is a mixture. Let's say, for example, we have here a brass. Brass is a combination of different metals. We have a rock. Rock is a combination of different minerals. We have here seawater, which is a combination of salt and water another example of a mixture is we have here a pancake mixture which is a combination of flour plus water plus sugar plus egg plus food color equals to pancake mixture another example we have a coffee mixture which is consists of coffee powder plus sugar, plus creamer, plus hot water, equals a coffee mixture. Another example, we have here a mango shake. It consists of mango fillings, plus milk, plus sugar, plus crushed ice, plus water, is equals to mango shake. Can you give me another example of a mixture? We have cement, used for building construction. We have calamansi juice, which is a very popular to fight COVID-19 and to boost our immune system. So now let's proceed to the two types of mixture. First, we have homogeneous mixture. Homogeneous mixture is a mixture in which the composition is uniform throughout the mixture. Let's take a look at this illustration. We have here a glass of water with salt. And we also have here a glass of water with dissolved salt. As we can see, salt cannot be visible anymore. Why? Because salt is evenly distributed in our mixture. So it is under the homogeneous mixture. Next. Can you give me another example of a homogeneous mixture? We have the milk. Okay, so milk powder and sugar was evenly distributed in the mixture. That's why we cannot see anymore the milk powder and as well as sugar if you add some. We also have here a coffee mixture. We cannot see visibly the coffee powder, creamer, sugar in this mixture. Why? Because the coffee, creamer, sugar is evenly distributed to our mixture. That's why it is under the homogeneous mixture. 
Next is the heterogeneous mixture. A mixture in which the composition is not uniform throughout the mixture. Let's take a look at this example. The very popular Filipino dish, we have sinigang. Sinigang can either be sinigang na hipon, sinigang na baboy, na manok, na baka. So as we can observe in this illustration, we can easily identify what are the ingredients added to our mixture. So we have shrimp, we have vegetables, we have tomatoes, and so on and so forth. Another example of a heterogeneous mixture, the very popular Filipino dessert during summertime, halo-halo. As you can see, we can easily identify what are the ingredients of halo-halo. We can see the ice, the mongo, peanuts, langka, leche plan, and so on and so forth. We also have Italian food like pizza because we can easily identify where is the pepperoni, where is the ham, bell pepper, cheese, and other ingredients used in this pizza because it is an example of a heterogeneous mixture. Now let's proceed to substance. Substance is a kind of matter that has a uniform properties. It consists only of one type of atom, molecule, or compound. The temperature of a substance is fixed and sharp. Let's take a look at this example. As what can you observe? We have salt. The empirical formula of salt is sodium plus chlorine is equals to sodium chloride. We also have here water. Hydrogen plus two molecules of oxygen is equals to H2O or water. As we can observe in this picture, we have a boiling water, we have ice, and we have here two samples of water with salt and with thermometer on it. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius and freezes at 0 degrees Celsius. It means that water is a pure substance because it has a definite property and it is constant. But when we add salt to this boiling water, it will be no longer a substance. It will be a mixture. Why? Because adding salt to boiling water will raise as its temperature because it undergoes a phenomenon called boiling point elevation. Let's take a look to another example of a substance. We have here a liquid mercury or liquefied mercury. Mercury is used in the traditional thermometer. It is also used in the light bulb but it's too dangerous. We also have here gold used for jewelry making. Now, let's compare the two. We have substance. It consists only of one type of atom, molecule, or compound. Substance is a particular kind of matter that has a uniform properties. It means it has a definite properties. How about mixtures? Mixtures contain two or more components. It can be homogeneous or heterogeneous. Let's wrap up. Answer the statement by telling if it's true or false. Here are the statements. Air is a mixture. Gold is a pure substance. Mixtures consist of only one component. Substances has no definite properties. And water is a substance. Use the comment box below. Let's answer. Air is a mixture. Is that true or false? Yes, it's true. How about gold is a pure substance? Is that true or false? That's true. Mixtures consist of only one component. True or false? That is false. Of course, mixtures consist of two or more components. How about this one? Substances has no definite properties. That is... False, of course, because substance, as we all know, that it has a definite properties. 
Thus, we have water is a substance. Is the true or false? That's correct. It is true. It's evaluation time. Let's see what have we learned from this lesson. Determine if the given description is a mixture or substances. Number one, a form of matter that has a definite composition and specific properties. Two, the variation in size may tell whether a mixture is homogeneous or heterogeneous. Three, contain two or more components. Four, consists only of one type of atom, molecule, or compound. Last, example of these are gold, oxygen, and etc. You can use the comment box below. Enjoy answering! Let's answer. Number one, a form of matter that has a definite composition and specific properties. What is this? Very good. It is substance, of course. The variation in size may tell whether a mixture is a homogeneous or heterogeneous. There is a clue there in the statement. The answer is mixture. Very good. Number three, contain two or more components. It is a mixture, that's correct. Consists only one type of atom, molecule, or compound. There you have it, that is a substance. And last example of this are gold, oxygen, and etc. Very good. It is a substance. Our home task for today. List five materials or products that can be found at home that can be described as substance or mixtures. Again, you can use the comment box below for your home test. And for the next episode, we're going to discuss elements and compounds. See you on my next video lesson. Thank you and God bless you.